Just south of Halifax, I'm back in the historic town of Shelburne with the Classroom Energy Diet Challenge. Today, Mr. McKay's buddy reporters investigate the town's windy weather. Let's check it out. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Rachel. How are you doing? Today's challenge is Windy City. A unique way that we thought would be a great way for the kids to learn about wind was do a newscast. We have wind power popping up everywhere. Great news for the environment. News anchors, local reporters, foreign correspondents talking to us about wind energy. We thought it was fun to have superheroes involved in our wind power challenge. Ananometer lad. Wind power. And we had turbine girl who could spin super fast, which of course are characteristics of wind. Now, we're going to be going outside to test our own turbines. Yeah. Landon, you have the anemometer. Can you find us the windiest spot? 11.5. What did you guys make? Little windmills. Jody, what do you have here? It's an anemometer that measures the wind speed. So what are the disadvantages of wind power? Sometimes it's not always windy, and sometimes birds get caught in them. Look at the wind. Is it ever generating a lot of power? So what's the best thing about wind power? It's renewable and it doesn't float the air. With kids' superpowers, they're discovering energy alternatives. It's the Classroom 